Hey everyone, Fonzo here, and today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 mages on Smite. Now before I start this video, I will point out that these mages were picked on the 3.9 patch. So if any of these mages get buffed or nerfed, just keep that in mind, they were picked on 3.9. Also, I do not have a big fan base. So what I did was I went to Twitch, I uh, went to different streamers. I asked them what their top picks for mages were. I asked their followers, their viewers. So pretty much a community based uh, vote, I guess. And then I just put them in order from uh, which ones had the most uh, votes to the least. And also one more thing to keep in mind is that these picks are for gods played throughout all of Smite. So not just competitively, not just in Conquest, but in everything. In uh, 1v1s, in Joust, in uh, Arenas, in Assault, in Siege. So without further ado, let's start this top 5. Isis, the goddess of magic comes in at number 5 on the list. Isis is a really strong competitor, especially with her second ability, also called the Spirit Ball, that stuns, has a big radius, low mana, and just does so much damage to the enemies. It's not really fair in my opinion, but without her having an escape, I guess she's pretty balanced. Isis is a strong god. She could play any game mode, but I feel like her weakest game mode is Arena just because everyone's always so close together, which doesn't make sense for with her ult. Her ult is kind of meant for everyone to fight inside of it, but I feel like Arena's her weakest point. It's either that or Siege, and her strongest would obviously be Conquest, seeing that she's one of the main picks for mid lane. Coming in at number 4, we have Sol, the goddess of the sun. Sol is one of the most recent gods, coming out at October 6, 2015, and when she came out, she was pretty overpowered. The thing that made Sol so overpowered was her 2, her 3, and her 1. Surprisingly, her ult wasn't that much of a big deal, but her 2, when it first came out, was just so damn overpowered. Her 1 gives her a boost in her passive. Her uh, more attack speed if it's all the way filled. Her 3 makes her pretty much invincible to anything. Her 4, she just shoots suns or whatever down to you. I feel like her strongest game mode would have to be Arena or Conquest. They're both pretty much the same. Her weakest would have to be without a doubt Siege. Since, you know, dual lane it's not really a good thing for Soul. Scylla, Horror of the Deep, comes in at number 3. Scylla is without a doubt one of the strongest mages, if not one of the strongest gods in all of the game. Her 1 being able to root up to 3 gods at max rank, her 2 doing so much damage late game, her 3 a teleport or a dash, I guess I would call it more of a dash, and her 4 probably one of the most overpowered ults in the game. Her ult called I'm a Monster so stupid if you kill a god with the ult you can use your ult again her ult is so strong you can almost one shot a squishy god that being said all you need to do is just use sickum and then use your ult that will kill any squishy god in the game and then after you kill that squishy god go ahead and use it on someone else you have your second ult to be used it doesn't help that they buffed her like a patch or two patches ago Scylla is without a doubt someone to be scared of when you play against. I would say Scylla just good in any map you play her. Just, if you're a good Scylla, you can play her at any map. She really doesn't even have a bad map. I would say probably 1v1s. Uh, wouldn't really recommend Scylla on 1v1s. Other than that, overpowered in any game mode. Coming in at number 2 on our top 5 is Cuckoo Khan, Serpent of the Nine Winds. Cuckoo Khan is probably the easiest god to play in all of Smite. His 3 requires no skill, his 1 is a slow, his 2 makes him faster, and his ult, his ult is just stupid. But I like it. I love Cuckoo Khan just because of his old personality. He used to be known as Ao Kuang, which now in the game Ao Kuang's a different mage. We'll get to him later, but I love the old Aquang compared to this new Kukukan. 
I still like to hear the Ola Kuang by using that Chinese skin, uh, the Dragon Chinese Festival skin. I just miss him, miss his taunts, miss his skins, miss everything about the old Ao Kuang. Like I said earlier, his three takes no skill, just uh, landed on someone and it follows them when they're walking out. Literally no skill. But I really can't hate too much on Kuku Khan. He was, however, my first ever Mastery 10 God. But I'm pretty sure nowadays everybody has a Mastery 10 just because like I said a million times already, he's too easy to play. His 3 is also really good to clear up lanes. So I would have to say his strongest game mode would have to be Siege or uh, Assault. Why Assault? It's because they can't go back and heal after you use your 3 on them. That's stupid. So before we go on with our number 1 pick, I guess this is like an honorable mention. Uh, this one god has a lot of dilemma between the smite community whether he's a mage or kind of a, like an assassin because he's one of two physical mages I mean not physical one, one of two uh, melee mages and his abilities are pretty much focused around being an assassin but at the end of the day he's still considered a mage so I did not want to put him on the list the god I'm talking about is Ao Kuang now, like I said, because of all the problems between the Smite community, whether he should be like an assassin or a mage, uh, I just want to keep it out out of the top five. But I will say he's most definitely in my top three mages because I don't care about that whole assassin mage stuff. So this is where you guys come in. If you think Al Kuang should be number one or anywhere in this top five list, just leave it down in the comments. And now we move on to our number one spot. And taking our number one spot in the top five mages of all of Smite will be Janice, the god of portals and transitions. I like playing Janice. Janice is a very fun god to play. Whether it's using his portals to make enemies fall to the ground or using his portals to travel through walls, he's really a fun god to play. And his ult is by far my most favorite ult in the whole game. It literally just shoots straight throughout the whole map, all the way through. And what I like about it the most is when it reaches full length or full distance, it does 200% of your magical damage. Because of this, he is frequently picked in competitive games as the mid laner, just so he can help his teammates get across the map faster. But it's also this reason why a lot of people pick him in like arena to try and get snipes out of it. All in all, Janice is really fun to play and really strong. Not too OP, but just about right. Alright, and there you guys have it. If you guys like this top 5, leave a like below. Also comment if you agree or disagree with some of the picks. Like I said, I try to do this more of a community base, but I don't have a fan base yet. So I'm just going out there and asking people what they think. So hopefully you're in someone's chat while I go around and deciding who the top five assassins will be. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.